Bone in on in the buckwheat, goddamn <laughs> fucking soccer, goddamn beef jerky, my asshole, Jeff Gordon, twenty four. Shh. Shh. Does he say I want to give it to you night and day? Excuse me. Does he say I want to give it to you night and day? I think he goes. Oh, I want to fuck you night and day. It's too much work. Every day, baby. Every day you wake up, no coffee, you just nut. You ever try to fuck with no coffee? Yeah, worst. And not if you're just laying there, she on top. But if she ain't had no coffee, she on there like a grandfather clock. Just when you know, this yeah. way, yeah, that way. She ain't have no rhythm with no coffee. You ever have a sleepy fuck? Those are the worst. Am I uh, fucking a person one. or a slinky? <laughs> <laughs> a slinky flashlight? I think you're onto something there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's always fun. morning sex is like, is it? I don't. My logic to morning sex is always like a rain check for sex the night before, whether it's too short or like you were both drunk and nobody was finishing and it was just a sloppy mess and you're doing missionary for like 45 minutes and you're just like, you taste like nacho cheese. Like, let's just pick this up in the morning. Right. And I, you said it before and I sort of agree. I just, I just don't, uh, I just, just morning sex is just everyone's breath is fucking terrible. Tastes like hot carpet. Yeah. Hot carpet. It fucking tastes like a USB wire that's been just doused in G fuel. It's disgusting. <laughs> and then also, and then also, and then also, there's like a bunch of fluids and shit that happen like when you're sleeping. So you get like white crust in the corner of your mouth. You can't tell her she's on top. She's trying to do her best job. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, the sun is just peeking through your blinds. Like, it's what y'all doing? It's hot. Bright as shit. It's bright as shit. It's hot. And then you no, know, everyone smells like bo. I don't and even shit. like looking my own dick too early in the day. I'll put on fucking sunglasses to go to the bathroom. I'm like, don't look at me. Goddamn. I'm Ray Charles my dick for the rest of the day. <laughs> What's so funny is when, like, it's kind of cool. Like, your dick is an indicator of when you have to pee. Like, you get hard in the morning, morning wood. Hold on, what? That's not the, the reason you don't you get hard in the morning is not because you have to pee. Yes, it is. No, it's yes, it not. is. What is it? No, it's not. what is it? It's gotta be. What is it? What are you fucking just dreaming about cantaloupes? Why are you hard, Lisa Ann? What is it? I do, I honestly do not know. What I I'm, think I'm, you have to pee. I'm assuming, Gabe, buddy. We have would, Google. Hold on, we have Google. Let me say this real quick. Um, I got two angles to this. One, wrong. Two. Uh, that would be kind of interesting that every single time you had to pee, you would get hard. I mean, that's sort yeah. of, but that's every not. Every dude at a baseball game would be rock hard. I got to pee Always so much at a goddamn baseball, baseball game. game. Why? Because it's boring as fuck? Yes. <laughs> because you got to get so drunk to enjoy the game. Yeah. And then it's the second inning and you're like, oh, shit. Dude. The th after I just drank a 64 ounce big gulp. After the third inning, I'm like, light the baseball on fire. Make this exciting. This shit sucks. Get a switchblade. Yeah, release a tiger. Something. Yeah, a tiger this shit would be is great. Terrible. Seventh inning. It's the only sport where the fans have to stretch. Yeah. To get through it. The seventh inning stretch. Dude, the seventh inning stretch, I contemplate suicide. I'm like, I can't stay here. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because it's like, you know, it's America's sport, but like, I feel like the UFC is America's sport. Yes. We're just two guys who are pissed off in a Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot being like, fuck you, no, fuck you, no, fuck you. Then you knock yeah. each other out, then you shake hands, and then you go back to your fucking Buffalo Wild Wings shit. You ever meet someone that fights MMA? No. They're not fully human. They can't They're be. not fully there. No. Their father is like a pit bull or their something. Their brain is hitting to their ears. That's what cauliflower is. It's just their piece of their brain just fucking falling off. God damn, that's gross. <laughs> but some of these dudes like to get cauliflower because it's like sexy for a girl. Because like, oh, he'd be fighting. I, I understand that. But like, that's, that means you'd be getting ass kicked. That's not really getting your ass kicked. This is the cauliflower comes from getting your like, head, like, it, uh, head slammed but, on the mat. Well, I guess that is getting your ass beat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fight. You, can, you knew that. Yeah, I, I mean. I didn't know that. Gabriel. You did or didn't? No, I didn't. See? Yeah. We should have like a stiff socks like MMA battle and see who would win. How much you weigh, Gabe? Like 175. You're 175? Yeah. I That's fat with, as fuck, is that with man. or without the mustache? Without the mustache, I'm like 155. <laughs> nice. All yeah. right. That's, um, that's a 175. Right that's a that's a fucking that's a head. That's a because you you don't like you look skinny. That's like you, so you're big big boned. Yeah, big boned. Trev, what are you? Wait. Not good. Anyways, nah. what? <laughs> can I guess? Can I guess? Yeah. So you're six foot. I think that you are 137. What the fuck? That's disrespectful on all platforms. 137? I don't know. By a fucking Victoria's Secret model? Yeah, you're kind of hot. Yeah, now I'm... Now I'm hit. I, at first I was kind of self-conscious, but now I just think you're confused about weights. 
137 is disrespectful. I think the girl, the, my girl has like 120. I Really? Yeah. I thought she was 170. What if I just didn't know weight? <laughs> <laughs> you said she was 22 years old, huh? I'd be the worst person at the fucking carnival trying to guess weight. How, how much my baby weigh? You got to weigh Two five. You, hey, ma'am, you got to weigh under 500 pounds to get on this ride. Yeah, I weighed 90. But I don't know what to do now. I, I'm confused. I so, thought you were a, bit, a beluga. Is that? No. You're one. Okay, so 137 is disrespectful. Okay, how about this? 163. Too high. Am 151. My giant fucking Twinkie to you? 151. Probably around that. We're, we weigh the same weight. Yeah. All right, I'm just trying to figure this out because we do an MMA. We yeah, need but to yours be- is like muscle. Like you're like, like stacked up. Yeah, also heavy dick. Heavy dick. Huh? Is it? When huh? you got to pee, it is. Right? Did yeah. we ever find that out? Yeah. What oh. does morning wood consist of? Uh, it's not because you have to pee. Man, fuck all y'all. Yeah. There's multiple factors. Uh, your testosterone level is its highest in the morning after you wake up, which Why? can apply to it. Oh, is that You've what been you, you want to fucking for eight hours Bull? straight? You're like, nut, 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 nut. Yes. Uh, and then also your brain is apparent. This is interesting. So your brain relaxes more when you're sleeping. What, what you're website awake. is this? Is healthline.com. You guys remember Mancers? Yeah. Yes. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. The podcasting became a thing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Mancers was just like Geico, but more like beef jerky ish. What did it have? Is- Mancers was just like, does your dick ever not work? We'll tell you why. On Spike TV. Spike TV was literally just like a fucking, if a soul patch could be a TV network. Yes. Yes. Oh, Spike TV. If you watch Spike TV and you didn't have a Camaro, they'd shut the cable off in your house. <laughs> I don't even know if you would watch it on TV or if you just went to a scrapyard and just be like, you guys Spike TV? And like, uh, oh, all right. And you just punch someone in the face. It's, it's literally a TV network that would punch you in the dick if you didn't like watch it properly. I would love to see who worked all at Spike TV. Dude, didn't didn't the man, wasn't the man show on Spike TV? Do you remember the man show? Mancers. Uh, man no, show. the was man that? show. Kimmel? It was Jimmy Kimmel. They li- the, the opening titles to all this shit was literally just women jumping on trampolines and boob popping. That. Can you yeah. imagine if that was on TV now? Canceled, one episode. No, it'd be a done. Carl's Jr. commercial. Carl's Jr. got them titties in that goddamn commercial. God, one of, one am girls, I trying to eat a burger or fuck it because I'm trying well, to that's what I'm saying, Dude, one of, these, one of the girls that was in the commercial just followed me and I was like, huh. Hold up. Huh. <clears throat> Only fans. Yeah. No, I don't think she has that. She's like a respected model. But I saw the name and I was like, where do I know this from? So I Googled the name and then it, the first thing that comes up is a Carl Jr. commercial. She was in the Super Bowl commercial for Carl Jr. <gasps> Charlotte McKinney? I don't know. She was the one walking around? Yeah, she was the one where like all like the food was like covering yep. her. Yep. Yeah. She followed you? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Hold up. You want me to yep. arrange a meeting? <laughs> oh God, I'll bring some burgers. Bro, we should get her on. Yes. And be like, did you actually walk around naked for Carl Jr.? And she's no. like, yeah, for 100K. Oh, well, she didn't walk around naked. She probably had the, the nude the, the nude color stuff on. Yeah, for um, sure. But uh, yeah, fuck. But if you, here's the funny thing about Carl Jr.'s commercials. Yes, the women are hot. And yes, you don't really think about burgers, but it, the burger seeps in. Because you, you think about a commercial, right? You think about the girls, but you also think about how delicious that goddamn burger looked. How many Carl's Jr. burgers they sell because of those commercials? A bunch. Well, it's also, it's like, it's like you got my attention mm-hmm. and we all rocked up down, down below the belt. You're just like anything detailed. You're like on. Right. You, you know, think about, we're talking about that porn mentality where you yeah. block out the world. Mm-hmm. Suddenly they bring in that burger to the porn mentality. And now you're like, oh, I got to get a burger. I got to get a burger. And then you leave the house, burger, 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 burger. And then you get the burger and you're like, this is trash. And then you go burger, 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 I jerk off. Why don't they do brand placement in porn? Well, like what? I don't know. What are you Sprite? Gonna, Energizer Bunny? He's just like... Duh, 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 no, what I'm saying is like... nuts red, Robin. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is uh, like, why don't they just like, they show up at the... Okay, you know, the pizza porn that they show up and like, hey, you ordered... Blah, blah, blah. Why can't it be Papa John's? I mean, there's gotta be... I mean, because honestly, <clears throat> like some mom on Facebook would just go on a tangent. Like, my child likes Papa John's and now he's watching Daddy John's go to town. <laughs> Johnny Sins isn't my pizza. You know, like the, the, there's there's room. People would get offended. You'd have to do a brand that's like, like Blue Chew, Blue Chew, Manscaped, like yeah. something that would make sense in that. But, but, but it'd be but, hilarious. You know? But how come it's not there though? It sh- it need, it needs to start. I've never seen a porn that has brand placement. Like, well, I, I mean, also, it could have been right there in the scene. But you're all fucking, you're on that mode you ain't looking in the background no they could be fucking on a green screen they could be fucking on goddamn shit yo there's a there's a arrow going 90 
<laughs> there's a, like a really famous psychology study where they had uh, people watch. Um, I'm gonna fuck the details up, but essentially I, you're gonna I get my you're, you're gonna going get my point. Is like they're watching. Uh, I think like a tennis match, some shit like that. It's just like some sporting event. And they watch the whole thing. And then afterwards, the psychologist is like, um, did you see anything weird? And they go, no, we didn't see anything weird. And then they show them that midway through the tennis match or midway through the whatever the fuck they're watching, literally a person in a gorilla suit runs through. And since your your brain sort of can't focus on two things, like well, so it only so if they slow it down and they point it out, then you go, oh, fuck, that's a gorilla in a it suit. It ran through the middle of the screen? Middle of the screen. No one's ever saw it. I don't yeah. know about that. Well, I mean, dude, it's like, it's you, like a famous study. It. Really? Yeah. It's a, was it's, a gorilla naked? No, it was a gorilla gorilla. I think gorillas are always naked. Great. Gabe, did you look naked. that up? Yeah, there's a, there's only been one case so far of uh, branded porn, but it's not exactly product placement, but Arrangement Finders, the website that like hooks women up with like, I mean, sugar daddies. That makes daddies. sense. I want to see a fucking Hidden Valley Ranch bottle right. before the guy nuts. He's like, oh, that's not my semen. That's Hidden Valley. And then it goes back to nutting. That's really not. You know what's funny is he should go like this, jerk, 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 and they should pan to her and then come back and it's a Hidden Valley bottle, not his dick. And then the cum comes out of the Hidden Valley bottle and then you go to him or go to her and, she, and it's on her and then she takes a carrot stick and dips it in her. Oh, yeah, she wipes her face, throws it on a salad and she goes, toss my salad, daddy. And then he goes, Hidden Valley. That is, her ass is Hidden Valley. Wow. Hidden Valley Ranch. Is, that, you, you guys fuck with ranch? Yeah. Wow, Gabriel. Take it or leave it. It's you, fine. You do, it's fine. I mean, it depends. Yeah. Like if I'm getting a salad, I'm going oil or like some vinegar type yeah. shit. Of course balsamic. you're going oil vinegar. But if you get ranch over the age of 20 on your salad, bruh, and you're allowed to vote? You put ranch on your salad and you go out into the world being like, I'm an adult? No, you're not an adult. If you order ranch on a salad, you're 100% not an adult or you're ranch a- Ranch is the chicken tenders of dressing. It's not bad. It's just like you can't eat chicken tenders and be like, we need change in society. Mm -mm. You, yeah, you shouldn't be able to vote. Yeah, you live in like the Appalachian Mountains if you put ranch on your salad, 100%. Appalachian Mountains is nice. I was thinking like you, you live in like a fucking jungle gym. You live in it. What? Cause you're, no, I'm saying Appalachian. What well, doesn't matter? It doesn't. I would just shit on the entire. Right, people. but it's so funny you make that. Like I use ranch as an adult as a side, as a dip. Yeah, a ranch salad is fine. It's good. It like I'll tell you, like one of those just like Cobb salads. What is that? Blue cheese. But but you can put ranch on that. That's very solid. But it's just like it's like iceberg ranch bacon bits and like egg crumbles. That's not doing anything for your body. It's good. God damn. Huh? What's that? That's the scent of a man who just walked in. A goddamn burly boy who is smelling like a cherry tomato who done worked out with Joe Rogan twice. God damn. You know, why I, you know why I smell so good? You know why we smell so good? What is that? Hawthorne, baby Johnson. Oh, Mother effing Hawthorne. Baby. Hawthorne is more than just the bath. It's everything from your toes to your ass. Well, and it's literally your whole body, right? It really is. Yeah, I got face creams. I got face uh, uh, hair creams. I got leg Lo cream. We got face lotion. We got body. We got first of all, we got body lotion. Second of all, we got mother effing shampoo, conditioner, detangler, bro. Well, on top of that, huh. cologne. Any liquid that, as a man, you put on yourself besides lube, they got it. <laughs> they got everything. All right. So what it is, you take a customized quiz. Yep. Don't worry, it's not stressful. No Adderall needed unless you get down like that. Super simple quiz about like your hygiene and how often you shower, this and that. And you, and look, there's no doctor, so you can be as dirty as you want. You can be like, yo, internet, I only shower once a week. That's fine. But what they do is they go based on what you click and then they send you subscription-based products or one-offs of what tailors best to your cleanliness, all right? And if you have a man or a boy or a father in your life that you want to give him this as a gift. Great gift. Super, super easy quiz, because all you have to do is fill out a few questions and Hawthorne can take it from there. So it's not, you don't need to know like in-depth things about your dad. Uh, I mean, you, you might know in-depth things about your dad, but you don't need it in the quiz to get the Hawthorne beautiful products. And also, I'm gonna say this, the products look incredible in your bathroom like a girl oh, can walk yeah. into your bathroom and be like damn this guy has a 401k it, it looks, looks like you got good. your life together yeah the, the packaging and the marketing of all that rico suave all right i feel like i'm showering with an off-white shoe all right it's great though um but yeah they send you everything and then you get like a work and a play cologne two colognes at once i've literally never owned more than one cologne i think i owned curve so guys go on hawthorne.co use promo code socks and get 10 percent off your first order that is hawthorne with an e dot co promo code sax get 10 percent off your first order go do it smell like a tesla god damn
Speaking of salads, why does spinach always seem like it's fighting to get out of your mouth? The stems never want to go in. Yeah, it's just, just yelling. It's yelling at you. Like, it's like, oh, fuck. But also, like, why don't we just guillotine the stems? Why do I need a goddamn uh, spinach stem? I don't. I, I'm going to be honest. This is kind of a controversial statement. I don't really like spinach. Spinach, the consistency fucks with me. I don't there know why. No consistency. Excuse me? Also, but there is no consistency. But I like the crunch. That's what the problem is. I just, uh, I feel like I'm eating like a gummy worm. But like every time, like I'll do like a chicken and spinach salad and I'll like put everything in and then I got like five stems coming out and they're just like, don't hurt, you know. Right, 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 right. But where, you ever put spinach in a smoothie? Where does it go? It, the taste is gone. I don't know. Do you ever try to put kale in a motherfucking? Fuck th- kale. You, you don't try to juice kale? There's no you gotta juice put, in it. You gotta it's like put juice in sandpaper. That, well, it's it's just, dude, you have to literally juice. I'm not even shitting you like a half a pound of kale for it to even be a thing in a goddamn Kale's smoothie. stupid. Kale's, I don't even understand the nutrients from, a, 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 what, what is that? It's just so, it's like the cauliflower here. It's just dense and it's just like, I don't know. But you never put spinach in a smoothie? Yeah. This Where does it, the taste, it's just not even there. I don't it's think spinach gone. really has a taste. If you don't put, if you don't put ranch or like olive oil, whatever the fuck, I don't think spinach is a taste. That's true. What does it taste like? Spinach. Nothing. What does water taste like? Water. But what is the what? What does that taste like? Nothing. Does water? I mean, water doesn't. Does have a water taste. have a taste? I mean, I think water tastes like water. Right. I have a question on the ranch thing, though. Can you? Because th- I was trying to think. Do you, is there any food where you would prefer ranch as the side to some other kind of condiment or dressing? I mean, the, yeah, a, a lot. Really? Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I go ranch or a blue cheese. Fight me. Your blue cheese is trash. But I'm talking about like some, because some people like ranch on salads or like ranch on pizza. You know what I mean? Like what's the food where it's like you have a choice between dips, like ranch and something else, and you're choosing ranch? You know, um, uh, I mean, I see what you're saying. Ranch is very universal. That's the, like, that's like the, if I'm like on a desert island and I need to pick a dip, it's pretty, you can put ranch on pretty much anything. Like it's kind of like honey mustard in the honey mustard land. You can put a honey mustard on fucking everything, um, but ranch. I mean, you nah, put, not everything. You put honey mustard on pizza. You got bodies in the trunk. I'll put honey mustard on you, pizza. You, you tell me you go to pizza and you see a motherfucker be like, "You guys got any honey mustard back there?" You always ask for honey mustard. I. Ugh, honey mustard. Where were we? We were at some fucking. We had the airport in Wisconsin. Yep. Motherfucker, there's one restaurant open and it's a dude making a breakfast sandwich on a goddamn panini press. Mm-hmm. And he goes, "You have honey mustard back there." Yeah, because I knew the yeah, guy goes, nah, she ain't working today. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yo, could you date slash marry a woman with like just a fucking wag ass name? Yes. Like her name's like Sriracha Sally. And you're like, I got to call you Sriracha Sally? Yeah, you can't like, go breathe it. You can't just call it SS. You can't. People just being like, wait, you're Jewish? Dang yeah. SS. Like, oh. No, SS still sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is funny how like, and I'm accustomed to this too, like, when you're in a big city like Los Angeles and you're accustomed to how restaurants have food and shit like this and that, yeah. then you leave and you go to a place and you're like, hey, do you guys have a, like, remember you asked for iced coffee. You asked for iced coffee outside of Los Angeles in a small city. They're like, I mean, we can take our brewer and put it on ice. And they look at you like it's, they're like, oh, you want ice cubes in your goddamn coffee? Yeah, I thought you wanted a goddamn, I, I thought you wanted a coffee, not a goddamn Slurpee. Yeah, didn't know you were going to be the prom queen too, you damn goddamn Pomeranian ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a cold coffee, right? It's little things like that, but like, you don't realize it. And like, when you ask for honey mustard instead of like other mustard, there's right. like, there's more options. You ask for aioli outside of Los Angeles? You can't ask they're for like, aioli. They're like, is that the mayor of the city? Fucking aioli? Aioli. They go, what the fuck did you just call me? Yeah. Like, aioli, huh? Uh, what is aioli? Just mayo with the fucking slick back hair? Oh, aioli sounds greasy. I don't... Do you like it? It's fine. Very small amounts. I but like, if you're dipping like fries in aioli, huh, too much grease. I dip uh, I dip fries in mayo. Fight me. You, I did fries. In There's so much better things you'd be dipping fries in. Oh no, of course. Okay, this might be a hot take. Oh Jesus, this is gonna be a wild. Are you hot gonna take. say some dumb shit like I probably? Dip, I dip fucking almond butter in my no, fries. No, French fries are overrated. Get out! Get out! Are they not? Get out was such a good film. Get out! <laughs> they're. I mean, what like, do you mean they're overrated? They're just. They don't do it like what they don't. Add something to them, but just fries? It's just salt and hot. And 
and potatoes. It's fried. I like potatoes. Pota- but, okay. But what, like, you're, what are you going? You going just a potato over fry? Yeah, Jim potato down my nostril. I, no, I, I, it's just like when what I don't like is when you get a burger and then instead of making the burger bigger, they just give you like a shovel's worth of French fries. And you're like, well, that's garbage. We don't right, want but that. Like, but like, they're not like you're telling me you take a bite of the burger, you take a bite of the fry, and you're like, I don't know which one's better. Of course not. I mean, but that's your your fries are just they're just they're just there to keep your brain. They're, they're just literally like commercials for your food. That's <sighs> fucking bars. Think that, about that it. That is bars. That you is bars. You just eat fries in between shit. Like, what what do you dip fries in? Are you ketchup guy? I'm a honey mustard guy. <sighs> honey mustard, uh, ketchup. Ketchup is like I I if just, you're an like orphan. They're on the side. Not, like I don't I don't know. Like McDonald's fries are. I like those. Those they're, are fire. Yo, they're thousand great when you're just driving thousand island. With fries? fries? No, ha- sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries are all right. Because there's I more will substance there. There's a little shoot sweet, everyone little in Vermont. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, they're just not like, I could never just order fries just solo and be like happy. Well, no, you're not going to feel good about yourself if you just order fries. It's not even about feeling good. It's just like you eat it and you're like, that didn't do anything. Really, it fills me up. I feel, I feel great. You I, feel, if you I, feel no, no, no. about fries, you feel great? I do not feel great. I'm sorry. I During, I feel awesome. I think it's a great decision. You Are you sweet potato fry or, or regular fry guy? If you had a choice. Uh, if I had a choice, regular fry, but sometimes on the occasion when they're like, we got sweet potato, you're like, all right. You're going regular fries over sweet potato fries? I can't. Well, the sweet potato fries have to be made right. What does that even mean? Sometimes they're like too thick, and then it's like it's, it's just mushy on the inside. But when they're like little, like, good, they're like, I'll tell you what fries I like is crinkle the cross cut fries. Those are good. The cross cut fries. Ch- the Chick Fil A fries. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Those do it. Those do it for me. Actually, <laughs> fry, fries with the Chick Fil A sauce is pretty good. I'll give you that. No, fries with Chick Fil A sauce is the is the only thing that is is top of the line. There's nothing better than that. Absolutely nothing better than that. Tits. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I, I swear to God, I swear to my I mean, fucking, on my I mom, if I some just, girl walked to me, if that fucking, uh, whatever, uh, uh, got him, Carlos Jr.'s girl walked up to me, he's like, okay, so then you have two choices. You have a large Chick-fil-A waffle fries with Chick-fil-A sauce, or you can see my boobs. I'd be like, what are you even standing here for? Throw me the waffle fries. It literally wouldn't even be a, it wouldn't even, I don't care about your boobs. You got a rack. Who cares? They're <laughs> fake. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I I don't really remember what this woman looks like. Uh, um, but no, it wouldn't. So you're so you're going to show me your boobs over over waffle fries? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Oh, you're dumb, dude. You're no. Dumb. You're dumb. I don't know. It's it, not. I just I hate how there's <laughs> few and far variety of like a what a good French fry is versus like some like frozen shit you put in the oven. You know, like. But I guess it goes like that for any food. You know, like there, there's the greatest burgers in the world, and then there's burgers you can defrost. See, I think I think the reason I like French fries is one, just I mean they, okay, I will acquiesce to this. What the fuck word was that? Who cares? <laughs> acquiesce. It doesn't matter. So, I- <laughs> mother bitch, when he was studying for the SATs, people studying for the SATs always want to throw some big ass words. You no acquiesce is just it. That's a big ass word. Spell it, homie. I can't spell nothing. <laughs> I literally have trouble spelling my middle name. Sometimes I'm What's Michael Michael Brain Blobs. <laughs> the Brian and Brain is, is is far and few in between. You know how the only way I know is when I type in my middle name and that little brain icon don't come up. <laughs> you could just change your name to B R Y A N. I think Brian with a Y was just the guy who was fed up with having that. He went to the dentist office too many times. They're like, uh, brain, <laughs> brain, <laughs> sir, you're up brain on here. Oh, all right. That's me. I'm Brian. Dude. Yo, when I got to, when I got to write my shit and not on a computer or a phone, all that, I, I just, I scribble. They go, what's your middle name? I go, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't fucking have it's one. Michael. No, no, your middle name. Michael. Michael. Michael, Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah. You don't have a last name? Nope. Don't have to spell yeah, that. LL Cool J. Michael, I Michael. See, you have, you ever have words that you have to spell that you memorized how to spell and you just say them in your head? Like what? Uh, that, I, I still to this day spell beautiful because of Bruce Almighty. I think it was with Jim Carrey. He goes, B E A U to full. Me too. That's, that's I'm one like, of them. at the post office. I'm like, have a B E A U to full day. Mm-hmm. Bitch, uh, show me a tip. But, oh God, why, why are you writing that? Are you writing you got pen pals? <laughs> what if you had a fucking pen pal? What do you mean, what if? I've been chatting with a girl from France. 
<laughs> she's 26. She, she a twin. <laughs> yeah, your girl's listening. <laughs> you better relax. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Having pen pals is weird. Because it's like, hey, you lonely? Am I lonely? Trying not to be lonely anymore? And in handwritten letters, my shit's all spelled wrong. <laughs> God damn. I mean, shit. There's people for sure out there married because they met their pen pal. Yeah, that's original DMs. Pen pals was just DMs. Pen pals was DMs with the slowest DMs in the world. That's it, a it slow ass anticipation, DM. though. Can you imagine being left on red from a fucking pen pal? You get a letter back yeah. that just says K. <laughs> you paid for shipping, right? <laughs> K. You dumb bitch. This motherfucker just gets a letter back that just goes this. Thumbs up. Fuck you. Oh, red. <laughs> red. Four days ago. <laughs> red. Oh my God. That's the worst. And that happened by the millions. Yeah. That happened by the Can you imagine being at war and writing your girlfriend? You don't get a letter back? Bitch, I'm protecting your freedom. You better write a letter back. <laughs> or what was the shit people used to do? Put a message in a bottle and throw it out of the sea? Dumbest shit. There's just no way that ever worked. Oh, people get. I, I used to do that. I mean, as like a. When I was a kid, I wasn't. <laughs> You went to the local fucking fountain at the mall and threw it in there? What'd nah, you do? I would go, go to the beach. And Ocean, Ocean City, Maryland. The, uh, yeah, but it was a thing like we, like me and my sister and my mom, we on. all get... What? Wait. No, I'm talking about love letters. And oh. Like me and my sister, and I was like, hold up. Oh, up love letters. My bad. I misunderstood. Step Row Throws Love Letter Notion. <laughs> Sponsored by Fabuloso. <laughs> <laughs> and Hidden Valley Ranch. Jam it in her hidden valley. Um, wait, hold on. You would write a letter in a glass bottle and throw it in the ocean? Yeah, but it was a glass just like, bottle just hits a kid boogie boarding. <laughs> just hits a fucking seagull. <laughs> God damn. Hey, yo, big shout out to our next sponsor, uh, Raycon. Raycon. Bow, 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 bow. The wireless earbuds of the future, baby. Look, I've lost numerous pairs of brands who are too expensive, all right? Yeah. I hate losing them. All right. So every time I got to spend hundreds of dollars, Raycons, look, I'm not even going to cap. I'm not going to lie under a hundred bucks. And this shit, bang. My premium, ear drums, bang. Premium sound, bro. So much bass. And I'm not going to lie to you right now. Noise canceling as well. I go, I fly a lot. We both fly a lot. I use them on a flight freaking two days ago. Can't hear nothing. Can't hear the, the freaking dog going, me, me. I need food. No, okay? I just put them in my ears. I hear amazing music, noise canceling. It's incredible. And they're just not as expensive as these premium brands, dude. Six hours, nonstop, just blasting, 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 and that's right, more blasting, all right? Honestly, I literally didn't know what to expect when I got them, but they're bang. They literally bang. Um, and the newest pair, they're called E25s. They're amazing. Uh, we both got a pair, Trevor and I. And honestly, I can't say enough about them, man. Um, and uh, dude, I don't know if you know who Ray J is, but he's a co-founder of the company. And Ray J is a co-founder. You also got J.R. Smith, Snoop Dogg, Rich the Kid. Everybody's like believing in the product. So look, I, anything Snoop Dogg does, I believe it. Okay. So stop buying some duds and get some real quality ear buds i'm talking raycons baby so go to buyraycon.com slash socks you already know how to spell those words because you went to third grade but that's b-u-y-r-a-y-c-o-n dot com slash s-o-c-k-s i had a stroke go to buyraycon.com 15 percent off god damn dude my friends used to do the most fucked up thing with seagulls as a kid how come everyone that you ever met fucks with animals <laughs> dude when white kids are bored they just Dude, terrorizing shit. Yeah, dude, dude, God. I had a friend who would just catch bees with a water bottle by the hundreds. A water bottle? You would, So a bee would be on, yeah. right? I'm thinking this. A bee would be on a flower. Oh, a water bottle, and dude. then you would just like put it on and then the bee would try to fly away and it flies to the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to know He was the one who taught me you can put a bee on a fucking leash. I've been seeing this on TikTok too. Motherfuckers. You can put th a bee on a leash. This is a serial killer number one shit. Like honestly, like anybody who does this, lock them up. But I've seen this. I thought it was just like maybe something that my friend knew from like an older brother or some shit. But like I haven't seen people on TikTok do this. You can do this. So you catch a bee and you put it in the freezer for like one to two minutes and it like slows it down. Right? Oh, I wonder why. Oh, yeah. It's fucking goddamn frozen in, in the middle. Right? Goddamn. Let's build a goddamn frozen yogurt. Right. And then so what you do is you take it out and you put like a like a piece of dental floss and you like tie it around its neck like 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 a like a leash. And then you put it out in the sun and then it defrosts and it like comes back to life and they can like fly. And then what you just hold the bee you by the You got a bee on the fly. Can you imagine being that motherfucking bee just, just trying to pollinate the world and you get caught and you get in the freezer? You're like, oh, God, 
damn, when I get to Antarctica, God, fuck, oh shit, I'm turning to a popsicle, <laughs> oh shit, oh goddamn, and then you, then you get a leash around you, go into the dude, fucking, it's got to be terrifying, and then, and you got to fly, and you, go, oh god, that's what, what horrible, yeah, no. how long you hold it for? I mean, I don't know. I I I I was just saying I knew a kid that did it. But I'm saying like you so so I'm saying on TikTok I, was, I guess is what I'm asking. So they just they just you hold a beat. Uh, whatever your prerogative is. You just walk into Ralph's. Hey man, maybe it's like a like a, a, a what's it? What do people do when their pet, their dogs a pet relief thing? The pet relief rescue? No. When oh, <laughs> oh I can take my dog into a restaurant because it's stress. What is it? Oh, emotional support dog. Emotional support beat. <sighs> That's hilarious. Yes, beat. Yo, you, remember the, the the woman that tried to take a peacock on an airplane? Says an emotional peacock. Hilarious. What the fuck? What's that? I feel like that's what type of like, NBC shit is that? Yeah, an emotional peacock. That's fun. I love that. Um, but what was I talking about? Oh, wait. Oh, with the seagulls. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, like these, these are just when random white kids are bored, this is what we do. We just yeah. be like, oh, fucking what can we do? Good. And that's why like motherfuckers have lizards and tarantulas as pets. White people. It's just white people, white people fun is hilarious. The shit that we come up with to have fun is the funniest shit. You just said it before. Boogie boarding? That's not real. That's not real. It's half a surfboard. And that's not... Also, birds aren't real. Nothing's real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? When you're in Wisconsin, you say, you're talking to me about like doing a joke about birds not being real. And then you yeah. open your phone and 10 seconds later, there's an app for birds not being real. That was crazy, bro. Because yeah, there was a bird that was listening from the government overflying and heard it. and was like, get it on the phone. But speaking of birds, this is what uh, my friends, and I think people used to do this now, but like yeah. you would dig a hole at the beach, right? Oh no, step bro, right? You dig a hole at the beach, <laughs> ass out. No, you dig a hole at the beach and then you would like put a towel over you and then you'd have friends put like chips like and, and, like on the on the towel and then seagulls would land on it, grab the chip. And then when you feel land, you'd be like, grab it. Oh my God. Yeah, it's some real hunter and gatherer shit. And what'd you do with it? Cook I it? only saw it happen once. All the other times, like usually miss it. Because mm-hmm. it's a bird and it's like, oh, what the fuck? I'm going to get out of here. There's just one stale Cheeto. And this fucking narc. You think I'm going to just f- see a random ass Cheeto on a towel? Yeah, not like a, suspicious. A Where's quesadilla, the sure. Where's the bag? You know? Uh, <laughs> God, I love quesadillas. Anyways. Fuck. Fuck. So I think fuck, my friend fuck. caught one once and then he got so freaked out that he just let it go. Of course. Do you ever, you ever like try to like touch a live animal in the wild? It's a fucking nightmare. What? Yeah. Dude, I was on a cruise one time and it's a big ass bird. Huge bird. Got his stupid ass head stuck in the... um. The railings of nice. the, the, huh? Got stuck. Oh, said brother. <laughs> Did that bird need help getting out, huh? Did you whip out your bird, big guy? No, I so whipped the, out my beak. Goddamn! Holy shit. Uh, anyways, bro, um, yeah, bro. but it got it got stuck. This stupid ass bird got, <laughs> got stuck in the fucking railing. Um, and we had to call like security to help, and this bird was losing its mind. Like, it, I mean, of course, because it was stuck and it was like a, a, like more amped yeah. up. But like any animal in the wild, you try to like get close to a squirrel. Besides your squirrels, your squirrels at your house are fucking insane. I don't get it. Well, it's because the neighbors just feed them peanuts, so they're just like very like friend. They're just like, you got peanuts, fucking circus you got nuts, bro. Uh, well, you know what's funny about that is like the security guard. He's like, I'm just here so people don't sneak on to the the for free yes and then somebody's like there's a bird stuck and he's like bitch i ain't no botanist yeah <laughs> What's that bitch shit? i ain't no geologist <laughs> botanist that's a plant botanist botanist yeah i ain't no i ain't no zo- zoologist zoologist zoologists are hilarious you put is at the end of anything yeah nutologist i think we are nutologists to be to be fair I think we're nutologists. I know we never do this, but I think that might be the title of this. Nutologist. Nutology. Don't think nut-ologist? it will not be the title. Bro, if you put in your bumble bio, like nutology at the school of hard nut. <laughs> <laughs> nutologist study. Nutologist at Northern University, Texas. Nut. 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 Nothing but ah, damn nut. Nutter butter. Dude, nut. why is nutter butter not sponsoring porn? Fuck. Pornhub, hit us but up. Like, we got right you. As he's about to go, he's like, ah, ah, nutter butters, and then he nuts. I love it. He nuts on the fucking. You know what package. He takes it out to do it. He's like, nutter. Oh, fuck. Can we go again? Just in like twenty minutes. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't do it. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Uh. Fuck. What zoo? Uh, fucking nut allergist. Bot- what are we talking about? Botany. Uh, Botany. Birds. White oh, people? the bird. He's fucking bird got goddamn stuck. And he ret- like it's just it's just so crazy when an animal's in the wild how insane it. It is, so I could see how impossible that would be to catch a goddamn seagull. 
Impossible. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah. Fucking, yeah. Oh, Gabriel, what what was that thing you were telling about? The, it, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I was wondering, did you guys hear about the the dude that lost his penis uh, to an infection, and then uh, a surgeon built a new one on his arm? What Hold in the fuck on? What in the Elon Musk? Yeah, so the guy he uh, lost his penis. Where'd it go? Uh, Sheridan took it. Yeah, I mean the the actual yeah, thing wait, was like what, a what, blood what? infection. Oh, it's a blood I, infection. I don't like to hear this type of stuff because if that can happen to a human, mm-hmm. is he like an older dude? Uh, oh, 45. How, how 40, old? 45. But that's so scary. Yeah. Because that blood infection shit, that's real. That's not like a hoax. What What happened? I, I don't know. He said some type of blood, blood infection. He lost his got dick. A, he just got infected yeah, he and got fell his blood got infected and then he uh, looked at his dick one day and it turned black and he's like, I know I'm going to lose this. And oh. he did. So. Oh, my dick turned black. I'm like, oh shit, this is going to get big. <laughs> my lucky day. <laughs> Uh, but so here's what's, what's interesting about it. So, the so, fact that he put it on his fucking yeah, arm. Yeah, so a surgeon, uh, he got approached by a surgeon and said, I can give you a prosthetic dick, but it's going to go on your arm. How did the surgeon how, approach how him did, at a bar? He that, yeah. <laughs> He's like, let me shake your hand. I can put a dick there. I think it has something to do with the way... Because it's it's fully functioning, right? So he's got... It works? It works? Yeah, so it, he pees with it. There's uh, on his no, arm. there's no way. Yeah, they built well, so a we, urethra I can, I, with I just, tubes. Going to his, to his like where his bladder is. So okay. I could I, I could put my dick somewhere else. I could be a unicorn, pee on my forehead. Yeah, it's like sixty five thousand dollars for sixty five grand. That's Bet. worth Let's it. Let's go. Yeah, that's worth it. Uh, and it also has pump like pump built in, so he can he get can hard. fuck with it. Yeah. So it's on his forearm. So he's got to fuck it's like he's like, like yeah, a on seal? the top of his forearm. But why would he, he pick need to find where? a girl who got a vagina on it? He can fuck like a seal. That's pretty hot. Uh, the that would be- he also he got the surgeon to add an extra two inches. Have to. Only two? Um, I'm getting a whale dick if I have put that shit in my fucking arm. You're gonna have to. My whole arm is gonna be a cop. That's what I'm saying. You gotta give me a North Face. So, to cover so that nice shit. to meet you. I'll be like, you gotta excite me first before you shake my hand. And let me pump this up real quick. <laughs> What's he use for a condom? A parka? I hate this guy. <laughs> but this is what he says. Uh, this is a quote from him. Mr. Uh, fucking dishwashing soap glove. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Anything is not, what the fuck's wrong with my life? This was all of my Christmases at once. I was so emotional because it was a chance at a new start. As far as I was concerned, they were miracle workers and I was up for anything that could give me my willy back. I mean, at that point, Willy? Yeah. If they were He's like, British. yo, we can put your dick where your little toe is, but it'll be the same size. You're like, shit. Guess yeah. I'm wearing flip flops to work. Dude, <laughs> dude, because if you, if you, listen, yo, if you lose your dick to a blood infection and you don't have one, and then someone approaches you at a goddamn bar and says, hey, I can get you a dick back. I got to put it on your forearm. Yeah. So I'm saying you'll put it anywhere. Anywhere. Thumbs up, bro. Bro, I want a dick on my I'll thumb. put it in my own ass. Bitch, how you going to be so fun? <laughs> in your ass? <laughs> yes, in my ass. Fucking myself all the time. So Somebody's like, how's your food? You're like, you got to give me hard real quick. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> He's like, why are you keep sucking on your thumb? <laughs> yeah. How's the food? Show me your tits, I'll tell you. <laughs> So, Forum is so weird. Yeah, so apparently that wasn't the permanent plan. I guess they grafted what? it onto his arm at first, and then the plan was to then Look move up. it to between his legs. But because of the coronavirus, they keep rescheduling his appointments because hospitals have been. Full. So they just put it on his arm as like a, like a temporary place, like mm-hmm. a freaking henna tattoo. Mm-hmm. Hold on, does it like did it grow? I, I'm I'm confused That's why so they put weird. it why they put it on the arm first. God damn, he's always got to wear a long sleeve sweatshirt. He doesn't though. He. He, well, that's he, illegal. He has a, the pictures of him, he's got a he's got a, like nice Oxford collared shirts. One of them rolled all the way down, and then the one with the dick, the shirts rolled up right up right above the dick. But like, so how does he walk? Like, like what if he's walking down the street and there's like a middle school? Yeah, I mean, this is yeah, this is this is horrible. Also, like, is is it made? So he put it on his arm. Is it made out of like skin? I mean, or is I, it made out of like silicone? All the pictures are blurred. Wow. It's hard to tell. If you had to put a dick somewhere else besides where your dick goes, where would you put it? Realistically, 100%. Give me a bullshit answer and a realistic one. All right, bullshit answer in my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you shit, you're like, come on, do an anal. You just always fucking. I'd do Wolverine. Like some dude's trying to fight you, like, what's up, bro? He's like, what? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's a big ass middle finger. God damn. I don't use my, I don't use my hands anymore. I use my middle mouth. Finger, girl. You, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, I guess Wolverine would be good. It's got to be an arm. It's got to be on the arm, right? Because that's the most motion. Yeah, it's the most motion. You can you can still sort of like fuck. Spider-Man. I'll do it like point it out like Spider-Man. It's like I do this and it's actually a dick and then you could 
I tell you what, though, you got that shit on your chin. God damn, you put that no. shit on your chin. Are you kidding me? You could eat a girl out and you fuck? You just put on some metal music while you fuck? Yeah, dude. Burn out, fuck a burner. <laughs> That's too weird. Real, real answer, though, it's got to be on the arm. You take a bite of a pizza and the cheese falls off, burns your dick. My dick! <laughs> what the f- Why does some cheese slide off a pizza and some doesn't? What they got in there? I feel like they're late for something. The cheese. I gotta go. <laughs> it's like a divorce. I hate this piece of bread. Fuck that. But some it's crazy. You take a bite and it just slides off and wraps around and burns the fuck out of your chin. Then be your dude. I can't. Uh, you know, remember you were like when you're younger, you had no patience, and then your parents were like, "Don't eat that. It's too hot." You'd be like, "Shut up!" You burn your whole fucking mouth. I still do it. That. That's what I was just gonna say. I still do it. I'm a full ass adult. I I look at the pizza. I'm like, "This is too hot," and I go, ah, "I'll try it out." And oh, burn. Yeah, I'll take a like like something out of the pot on the stove, and I'll be like, "This is good, right?" Yeah. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. It's on fire, heating up. And I'm like, yeah, but my tongue's cool. Yeah. Broiler? Fuck it. Let me taste it. <laughs> uh, it is a skin. Skin. They did a skin graft from skin from his arm. So it's not made of silicone. Oh. So he, so he's going to fuck a girl with arm skin? Yeah. I guess skin is skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, but elbow skin? Ugh. Elbow skin. I already said this, but I'll say it again. I don't give a fuck. Remember I told you that girl in my high school would nibble on people's elbow fat? No. Elbow skin? You said yeah. this? Nibble yeah. on it? Sexually? You know what's funny? Is she was so hot that maybe... She was it, hot? Yes. Maybe it wasn't sexually, but that shit was sexual to everyone she just else. walk up and nibble on it? Yeah, she would... I swear to God. She was like a... She was like a... Obviously, she was a little off, but she would just be like... She'd be like, hey, I'm gonna... It's like, I, I, don't, I don't... I've never done like it. She'd but, walk up with, with, without you knowing and just nibble on it? Yeah, I mean we were friends and shit. It wasn't like weird, but like yeah, she would like she would literally like be like at my locker, get my books, and she would like come around and just like and get close to my elbow and just sort of just put the elbow like uh, f- elbow fat or whatever the fuck skin. Yeah. Did you in, hit? Huh? You hit? No, nah, I wish I did. She was super de duper bad. Well, call some insane asylums by your old high school and see how she's doing. I remember her name obviously. I might I might look her up, see if she's just yeah, she's in prison for sure, <laughs> for sure. She's been. What are you in here for? Nibbling on some goddamn elbows. <laughs> nibble? What's what's funnier than nibble? If a girl goes walking to you, is like, let me nibble on your dick. You be like, yeah, now. That shit. You can't right. nibble on a big ranch on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, give me some gosh darn sock talk. Okay. Do you love me? Yeah. Are you writing? Yeah. <laughs> is there more to that? No. It was kind of funny that you didn't you go up to that song in Wisconsin. I went up to where the fuck do oh, I really, really even start? start? Which is nice because then right off the bat, I know if the audience has podcast listeners. Right. Yeah. Other than that, they're just like, oh, Drake, woo, still yeah. love this song. You know? Me, I just come on the floor and the people yell like, oh, all right, podcast. Don't hands. you come out to this rainy man? Sometimes. That's you though, right? So I've, I've done that, yeah. I used to come up to that or, um, oh man, what's that? It, woo, I feel like a woman. Bam, bam. That song, and then you just like play it off, or you just like I don't say anything. Shit. I just think it's hilarious to come out to that. I feel like a woman, and now I come out hilarious to me. Maybe not to anyone else. It also just starts so it's a banger. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, need, you need a song that starts big. Sometimes yeah. you're like, oh, you gotta play this song, but you gotta skip to a minute twenty seven just to get the intro. Yeah, it's like it's too much. It's mm-hmm. too much. You can't come out to like Beethoven or like Spoons. You come spoons. out to Spoons. You ever see a person play spoons? Get nah, a, I've get seen a people different... play the where they lick the wine glass and then go over. They just, <sighs> that's kind of freaky. They just give them a little rim job to a little Chardonnay glass. Yeah. I've seen people be beast at it, though. Damn, you can you whistle that? like a motherfucker, huh? <laughs> I can't whistle. I can't do the one between the... That's for dads. You have to have a child to do the one between your mouth. Yeah, as soon as... The, as, soon as <laughs> there you go. Moaning it on in the buckwheat, goddamn <laughs> fucking soccer, goddamn deep beef jerky, my asshole, Jeff Gordon, twenty four. <laughs> I would be the dad that would do that and then leave the family. <laughs> I'm leaving. Fuck y'all. <laughs> if if you go to blow a whistle at your dog when it runs away and it just doesn't, you just go. <sighs> your dog's like. <laughs> The fuck? I'm so far gone. Yeah. I'm the running f- even farther. I was just going to go to the neighbor's house with some leftover rhubarb pie. 
Fuck rhubarb pie. Honestly, that's the title of this goddamn thing. Whoever, can you Google who invented rhubarb pie? Because I'm going to go back in the past and kill that person. <laughs> it's probably a really nice lady. Nope. Fucking Nazi for sure. <laughs> I need to see. It's probably a really sweet old lady. Yeah, I'll look that up. But uh, you guys want to do a sock talk? Like yeah, that? I'm going to look at rhubarb pie. All right. So this is a question from TGI Felicia. He says, how do you feel about light up shoes on adults? Stupid. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, let me ask you a question. Stupid. What are you doing? You're not a kid. Light up shoes. Are we talking about like the LA gear ones? Because they're, they're actually, hold on, let me take this back. There are also some like actually kind of dope shoes that have like lights on the bottom of them. So I'm fine with those. Like, oh, they're no. like some Jordans or whatever with lights on the bottom. But there are some like weird like LA gear uh, shoes that are for kids that adults wear and i'm just like how much do you need to get looked at like how much did your parents not love you right that now that's you how to- i feel about those g like enormous balenciaga shoes that are like I a grand them. it's I like i hate those i don't know it's just, like there's no way you look at them and be like those are clean like some of the, those like high-end yeah. shits but like even like Gucci shoes, like they don't like unless you know that that's a Gucci shoe from afar, you're like that's a basic ass shoe. But Here, your wallet's like I spent two racks on these. Here's the problem about all those shoes, right? It's like you buy them so people know. It's like why don't you buy them for yourself? Like yeah. you you buy Gucci shoes so people go, are those Gucci shoes? It's the only reason you buy them. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who uh, like what uh, you know justification you're using to buy them. That's the only reason. You're just it's all like look at me, look at me. It's the same reason the motherfuckers have those big ass G wagons and they like, lift them and have big ass wheels. Like what are you doing? Yeah. Like how much you need to get looked at? Yeah, light up shoes for adults is kind of weird. Unless you're like going to, like a rave or like like you can't just walk right. into the office and be like, guys, we got a we got a conference call in five minutes. Hey, About what cotton candy? Could we all get serious, guys? And he just turns around and walks out. His Imagine place. getting fired, then your boss walks away and fucking light ups. I would feel so happy that I got fired. <laughs> that's the worst job in the world. You're only allowed to work at a toy factory. That's it. Yeah, that's Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. Max. Chuck E. Cheese, first of all, mouse, different, f- different character. <laughs> For kids? His name is Charles Entertainment Cheese. The E is Charles Entertainment. I hate that. Uh, hold on. Mickey Mouse. What is the fucking deal with children and mice? Mickey Mouse and then Chuck E. Cheese? Government. Go- government cheese. Oh, fuck. Government or mouse. Mouse are government. Dude. Narcs. CIA. CIA. Fuck. You know what? You can't spell cheese without? CIA. That's... Is it government. CIA? No. Cheese. There's no I. There's no I. CIA. There's Depends no on I. what kind of cheese it is. That's true. What about cheese? American cheese. CIA. And Craft that's why- singles. Fuck! Singles. Craft. Birds aren't real. Craft. They're crafting up our minds to be single, isolated. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question real quick. You guys like food? Of course you do. You're human beings. Obviously, we like food too because we talk about it every mother effing episode. Name one time we talk about food. Right seconds. now, Postmates, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I'm one of those guys who's like, look, I spent just as much money at the grocery store versus delivery services. And honestly, Literally, I don't know why I stress myself out going to grocery stores. I just Postmates the shit out of everything right now, especially right now. It's a pandemic. My mask smells like shit because my mouth smells like shit. That's a personal problem. But Postmates, dude, they have a thing that's delivery free contact. You know, you don't even have to see your driver, which I'm sure they're lovely people. I would love to talk to them. Not during Corona. I don't. No. They drop it off at your door. They ding dong. They ditch. But there's not a kid hiding in a, in a bush waiting for you to prank you. You walk oh. out. It's a poke bowl. Extra avocado. Postmates is not just burgers or sushi or Poke Bowls. You literally can Postmates almost anything. You need something. You need some tampons from a 7-Eleven. Bro, Walgreens, 7-Eleven. They got it. Dude, you ever hung over? Two Gatorades. You need them? Boom. At your right door. Right to your door. And also, we said before, during the pandemic, they just leave it at the door. You leave it at the door. You don't got to say what's up to nobody. They leave it at the door. Literally, they leave it at the door. So what you can do, you can move your bed next to the door. That way you can open the door, grab it, and still be in bed. That's a personal problem if you don't have your bed. Honestly, life's in shambles. Don't do that. So guys, open up the Postmates app. Download it if you don't already have it. Use promo code SOCKS. And what that's going to give you for a week straight, seven days. Seven days. Seven times 24. That's math. I don't know, but that's a shit ton of hours. We're going to give you $100 free in delivery Credits. Enter promo code SOCKS in the Postmates app, and that will give you $100 in delivery credits for one week straight. Seven days, no delivery fees, 
be your own boss. Does that work? <laughs> Hold Look, on. guys, anything you need, anytime you need it. Postmates. God damn. Do we have any more? <laughs> I love the people that are out in public. Hoax! <laughs> Me too. You think the word hoax? There's, I think there's a difference between saying some. If, if somebody goes, I don't know if COVID's real, versus somebody saying COVID is a hoax. Hoax just sounds so funny to me. It's like, okay, also, how did you get here on a cauldron? Right. Also, you if you say hoax, you drink your own pee out of a mason jar on Tuesdays when it's raining. You're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> but mason jar people would be, it just tastes better. Yeah. It's just more purified. Shut up. Hoax. Fucking gunder face. You're a hoax. Imagine calling a girlfriend like, I love you. You're a hoax. <laughs> if, if you say We're I breaking love you. up. You're a hoax. If you say I love you and she goes hoax, fucking fu I'll marry that girl. If you use hoax as like a common thing, it's yeah, funny. So funny. To <laughs> really go to McDonald's, hey, our ice cream machine is broken. Hoax. <laughs> How do you spell it? H O A X? Yeah. Hoax. Hoax. Also, hocus pocus. What type of cartoon witch are you if you say hocus Isn't that a TV pocus? Show? Hocus pocus? It just sounds like such a, a playful like wish. Also, too many adults that are into Harry Potter. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Get your fucking lives together. Harry Potter, stupid idiots, and the people that go to fucking Disney World fully dressed up as characters. Everyone get collectively together and jump in the ocean with wrenches in your pockets. I fucking hate you. <laughs> if you really want to piss off a Harry Potter person, yeah. tell them the movie was better than the books. Or just say, I haven't seen any of the books, but the movies are great. <laughs> people hate that shit. Oh, dude, Harry Potter was fine. It was fine. Why did it pop as hard as it did? Oh, I don't know. Because the kids that are reading the book are six. So if you know, yeah, like, like when was the last time a book popped off between that Lemony Snicket and uh, <laughs> Snicket. a series of unfortunate events? Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't even close to Harry Potter. It was popping. It was like an iPhone versus Android type debate where like Harry Potter was iPhone. Let me, Game, of, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones book no, popped the seriously. fuck off. <laughs> well, recently. Yeah. No, not recently, dude. The books were massive. Okay, that's true. Do you ever read Series of Unfortunate Events? I fucking love that shit for some reason. Lemony Snicket. That's the writer. His fucking name was that Lemony? Like, that sounds like an urban dictionary for like uh, a sex move. Lemony Snicket. That was his name. L let me look. Lemon. Hoax. Hoax. I don't think it was his real name. I think it was a pen name. But, if uh, that was his real name. For, the pen names kill me. Do you not want to make money? Oh, wait. His real name was Daniel Hadler. Handler. Well, now I Daniel know I Handler. changed it. Daniel Hadler. Daniel Radcliffe. Wait. That guy fucking won the lottery, huh? Made $22 billion playing Harry Potter. Good now for you. Now he just gets to do anything he wants. Dude, so anything. He's just like, uh, I was watching a, a new Elijah Wood movie the other yeah. day. Yeah. Called mm -hmm. Come to Daddy, like some horror movie. Yeah. And, uh, just like a weird indie, and it's like Elijah Wood was in all those Lord of the Rings money, he just made a boatload of money, and Daniel Radcliffe was in all the Harry Potter movies, and now it's just like, oh, I'm Daniel Radcliffe, I'm just gonna do a movie where I'm just a corpse, like I'm just a dead corpse the whole movie. That's it, yeah. I yeah. mean, he's, he's, lit, he's worth fucking $600 million, I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I think he's just happy to be in a role that's not Harry Potter. Sure. Dude, that transition out of that shit, I remember when he first transitioned, he did, uh, he was on Broadway, he did uh, Equiusk. Smart. Yeah, he. Uh, I read a. Uh, this sounds so fucking douchey, but I read a, a Times article about it, and there was a scene there. Where, I think I said this on the podcast before, but he had to be naked. And I don't know if you know anything about Broadway. If you've ever been to Broadway theater, it's cold. So like he was just he was he just was dick out on Broadway. Dick. So people were seeing out Harry Potter's goddamn penis. They were seeing his motherfucking magic stick. Goddamn, and it was not big. He literally said it in down, the fucking bro. New York Times article. He was like, "It's cold in there, guys." That's so weird because like he's just so famous that mm -hmm. like if I was him I'd be like bitch I'm Harry Potter but again Broadway's massive so Broadway's like massive. if you don't want to do it all right cool of course or I'll put a maple leaf over my dick like I'm Canadian maple leaf swing I don't need a whole one acorn fine <laughs> put a leaf emoji on that bitch <laughs> where do are you, we go do, ahead. do you think Adam and Eve really walked around with leaves over their dicks and shit or is that just how cartoon painted it hoax. <laughs> What, like, who are they covering up for? Imagine this. You're the first person on the planet. Boom. Pfft. Well, where am I? Gotta cover my dick. Yeah, I mean, that's why... Oh, wait. That, dude, I read this... Bro, this, uh, I can't think about... How did the world start? Dude, Were don't even... Babies? Let's I can't save about, this for 4,020 th fucking Patreons and we're hot as fuck. Okay, Patreon, we're gonna get stoned and uh, 4,000... 200, 200. and yeah, we're, we're coming up to four yeah. but like dude i can't even yeah I, i'm a i'm gonna tell people for that episode they need to smoke to get on board because have to it's yeah. gonna be bananas dude
I don't know. Or I, it's going to be literally an hour of us debating bananas are fruit or veggies or not. Maybe. I can't believe you brought that up. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm excited because if, if if I'm high and I'm talking with people, I like that because it's like this. But like when I'm just stoned by myself, I'm all in the head. Yeah, correct. so it's either good or bad. When I but when I'm with people, I think it's like a good riff and like there's yeah. some funny ideas that come out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be locked into this conversation and not pay attention to the camera because I'm gonna feel like we're on some weird porn site and I'm gonna get fucking weird. We are. We're streaming on Pornhub right now. Really? Can you upload anything to Pornhub? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna upload one. It's like guy beats the shit out of a cucumber and then makes zucchini bread. <laughs> you should you should just upload like the bang video and see how it does. <laughs> right bang, bang. it's all capital letters people are like yeah, bang oh, sure. it's fucking so many bang um oh yeah gabriel sorry man where we at yeah let's do uh one more question this is that was a question yeah it's uh, a i don't even remember the uh, light up shoes was the question wow uh so let's do one more this is from Derek hartleap who says what's the most desperate you've been to get laid i think we had that question before i think we did too but we can we can rehash it <clears throat> i remember i was in college and i was uh, I went to college in South Carolina and I drove all the way to Jacksonville, Florida to fuck like straight. How far is that? It's not close. I don't remember how long, how far it is, but it's not, uh, it's, it's definitely not close. Let me see how far thing. it is. Um, yeah. Oh, also the, it was like a, it was a decision I made at like, like one in the morning. Like it wasn't, uh, Jesus. Uh, um, dude, I don't know. Let me see how far this is. Myrtle. Beach, okay, dude. I want to go back to Myrtle Beach just, just to like rehash the college shit and just see what the hell that is. I don't know what a desperate thing is. Is that does that just mean I'm a bitch? Uh, yeah. It's not. Well, it's five hours, five hours and thirty minutes. But making that choice at one in the morning is kind of bananas. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, I didn't make it. What all time the, did you get there? Fucking well, six. Well, I the hilarious. I didn't make it. My car broke down. <laughs> And I get a tow to a fucking thing. I had to get a goddamn hotel and then wait for the car to get oh, fixed. Oh, where cost was me, this in the original pit? Sauce me. Well, because I was trying to figure out how far it would have been. Right, right, right. Yeah, but that was that was it. I didn't even, didn't fuck. I mean, cost me, I don't even remember, 600 bucks. And then I had to drive my ass back. I only made it like three hours in the trip, halfway, whatever. I don't really have any, that many desperate ass stories. There's no like desperate, like Hail Mary thing. You're, you're just like... I mean, realistically, it's probably some dumb shit where it's like I go out with their friends that I have no idea who they are and just like smile, nod the whole night. And then be like, yeah, man, woo, all right, cool. Okay, all right, well, woo. Right, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But that's yeah. not even desperate. That's like, I mean, that's girls do like, that all the time. Guys, they all, like everybody does that. I don't yeah. really, I don't have any like story stories, you know? I mean, I probably do, but like I'd have to like look back or something, but you know. Look back what, in your journal? What do you mean look back? Look at the list. I can't believe you have a list. Is it written in invisible ink so your girl can't see it? Harry Potter? <laughs> hoax. I ain't got no list. That shit a hoax. No, she got a list too. <laughs> she has a list? Yeah. God damn. Is it one of those fucking lists in old time? We go, <laughs> it's a big ass list. <laughs> Let's just say if she was holding it off the 27th floor of a banking building, that she would <clears throat> hit the ground. <laughs> Not hit like the 26th floor, but <laughs> nah, her list isn't crazy, but I, w- I remember, I, li- I think we were talking about it, but like, yeah. I woke up one morning and I was just like, I'm curious. And then I just went off memory and um, just to know what that number was. Because we talked about it on Patreon. Right. What the what the number was. And if you want the details, go to Patreon to get that. Patreon.com slash tip socks. Goddamn. Goddamn. Um, but I'm sure if I looked at one of those, I'd be like, oh, yeah, for this girl, I drove right. blah, 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 blah. Do you remember that Irvine story I told you? This was this was the most recent one where I was like, I'm, this is kind of desperate, bro. No. I was in Irvine at the Irvine Improv with my buddy. I met the, the guy the guy who opened for me, and uh, and I met a girl. Oh, you did tell me yeah, this. You yeah. You drove him back. And I drove, drove him. Well, yeah, I drove him all the way. If for people who don't you know California, just paid for a fucking hotel six, motel six. for him. You should have. Yeah, in retrospect, I should have because it would. It, but the worst part ever, if you guys don't know California, like it's probably an hour drive, let's say whatever. So I drove from the Irvine Improv. Drove, drove my buddy back and then literally he jumped out of the car and I drove back to Irvine because the plan was for me and the girl to hang out. And I'm telling you, 20 minutes into the drive back to Irvine, she texted me and she was like, well, it's not, um, maybe not tonight. It's not the good night and blah, 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 blah. So I wasted so, I mean, I guess I didn't waste gas, but I was like, 
because I had to drive back to fucking LA anyways. Yeah. But the, the whole the whole emotional thing, and the the most funny thing is, is two days before that, me and my buddy were talking, the guy who came with me, and I was like, yeah, man, I'm just, you know, the value of vagina for me now, I'm getting older. It's like, it doesn't really matter. And then literally two days later, Bro, I'm every, driving. Until the day you die, the value will have some value to you. Yeah, but are you going to do that now? Like, I mean, if, you're, if your situation was obviously different, like, would you ever even think about fucking driving back to LA from Irvine and then driving back to Irvine. The there's same. always some way you can like make it seem logical. You know, yeah. yeah. I haven't been out of the house much. Well, you know, my car, actually, I haven't been putting the miles on it like I used to. Right. I'm just driving extra, you know, two yeah. hours. And my lease gives me like 12,000 miles a year. I've only driven nine. So like I'm technically Bro, losing money. I I'm, mean, dude, I've already paid for the miles technically. Every guy will figure out a way to like make it seem normal to their own brain of why they're driving an extra two hours to get a <clears throat> nut. Yeah, and you know what's funny Dude. is it wasn't even guaranteed. Like it wasn't. She was like, "Let's hang out." Which I mean, in girl code, it's in girl code. That's like a maybe. So I'm like, I'm driving all that for like a maybe a makeout sesh, hand over yeah. the jeans. Like it wasn't even like. But a, I mean, even a makeout sesh with a hand on the drum penis is better than just fucking whacking it at home alone. I don't know, man. Sometimes the wax sessions are better than regular sex. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. God damn it. I'll tell uh, you what. Did, did the option of Ubering your friend home ever come across? Nah, at that moment, I had a very slim financial situation. So I wasn't going to be like, yeah, cool. I'm going to spend $99 to You know to what Uber I love to do to my friends? And uh, you too can do this. It's, it's a fun <laughs> you game. You too can do this. It's a fun game that I do with my friends. Because my friends that I grew up with and, they go to, and went to college with all over, all over the States now. And it's like, you know, you don't talk to them a lot. So randomly, when I'm in an Uber, I'll just request to split it with them. So funny, dude. So I'll just be like taking, like I'll be like in an Uber from like, you know, when there's not Corona, it's like from my house to the Laugh Factory and it's like a $10 trip and then I'll just split it with my friend in Chicago and then all of a sudden he gets a notification at like 11. It's like, Trevor wants to split an Uber with you. And it's like, what the fuck? That's so funny, It's a fun dude. little game to do. Just a, just a request to split Ubers with your friends is is hilarious. Do they say yes? No. Oh, yeah. They always text me and go, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious though. But it's Guy just, friendship is hilarious. Just, like, yeah, I go. love it. It's, yeah. I would want it no other way. And I think it's shit like that that keeps you close, you know? Uh, but just next time you take an Uber, just split it with like somebody you haven't talked to in a few years. Oh, or, I'm, I'm or, excited. Or just like split it with like Schultz or somebody like a, a yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Like um, a friend that you don't see like daily. Like if you right. ask me to split it, I'd be like, nah, I'm fucking whatever. Right. But like just somebody you went to college with, they'll be like, what Bro. the fuck? If I fucking take a huge Uber to like LAX, whatever those, you know, those are end up being like 40, 50 bucks. Dude, do it for a $5 one. It doesn't and it matter. Yeah, that's so funny. And then just split it with Schultz. He, he'll, he'll text back, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah, no, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. There's a little thing we all do. Um, So do we have a, let's get into a little sack talk? Yeah, secret talk time. Secret ba sock. Baby Johnson. Give it to me. All right. This is an anonymous listener that says, when I was a freshman, this girl was giving me a blowjob. And after I realized she was missing a tooth. Oh, Apparently shit. she had some kind of a fake in there and it got knocked out at some point. But after this event, my friends started calling me the tooth fairy. Hilarious. And also what's crazy is like, what if she was like, like she was like gagging, like choking. And you're like, damn, I got a huge dick. Meanwhile, it's just her tooth going down her throat. Dude, you know, what would be fucking amazing if she lost that tooth and then she used the gap to get in between. <laughs> Put your, your dick. Goddamn. Touch down. Have, touch unless she down. had fucking sandy cheeks looking ass teeth, like one tooth. Hell yeah. You tell me you're getting in between. I feel like that would do more damage because then it's like sharp around the edges. Did yeah, you guys but... ever see my fake tooth? Dude. Oh! Hold on. When we, did we tell you about this? No. So when we, Go. when we did the shows in Wisconsin, uh -huh. we're at the airport. Our flight got delayed 45 fucking times because the fucking <laughs> dumbass bitch. Um, fucking Minnesota Twins Minnesota can suck twins my dick. Used our plane. Oh, unbelievable. So yeah, they beat the Cubs, which or the White Sox, whatever. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> no, not the not the Chicago team from there. So much love to them. They used our plane, and then they were just mad late. They didn't go extra innings or anything. They just used our plane. All just why yeah. not? Just popping bottles, shooting condoms at fucking ceiling vents. Yeah, coming right? everywhere. COVID all over the place. Mile High Club, and they probably drove back. Anyway, so they're all on the plane, and then it's getting delayed, 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 and we're sitting there, and this, and this guy in the grill come up. And they're like, hey, you guys had a great show. But he did one of those things where he's like, he looked at Mike and was like, yeah, your set was fucking hilarious. And he looked at me and he goes, yeah, yours was okay. And I was like, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Which, because honestly, I know he was joking, but deep down, I'm like, was he? Of course. Every single time someone was does he? that. I know, but I know, but it's like when people like do the funny to the funny person. Right, right, right. Which makes sense. But anyways, it's a guy and a girl. And then the guy's like, yeah, we're at the Friday show or whatever. And then the girl goes, oh yeah, I went to high school with Gabe. Oh, right, right, right. And then we're like, oh fuck, you told us about the girl. Right. And then out of the blue, the girl goes, yeah, did Gabe tell you about his fake tooth? And we're like, huh? huh? He yeah, told I us about heroin before a fake tooth? Yeah, I guess I must have gotten it 
permanently put in like right before I met you guys. Cause I had for like years and years, probably like six years, I had like a, my front fake tooth right here was on a retainer. I could just so take you it could out. do so shit you could like, take it out. Yeah. Damn, that's dope. You can make crazy cool videos with that shit. Yeah, you can so, do cool whistling. Uh, what? How'd you lose a tooth? Uh, I got drunk and fell down and uh, in a some, hit some cement. Ah, fuck. You know, you wonder why somebody goes sober, and then it's like, well, <laughs> dude, so fucking funny. That was so funny. We're like, we're definitely gonna bring it up to Gabe, and then we just never did. Yeah. We totally forgot. What was okay. the question? Where are we? I don't know. Uh, you know, it's also can I say this one thing. You know, what's so funny about teeth, like. You can go from just being you and you take that tooth out, homeless. Yeah. It's Do you know crazy. what I mean? Just one tooth gone, especially the front one, your life is in shambles. You put it back, oh, that guy works for, at CVS. Like, yeah. it's so funny. Just a one tooth makes such a difference. <laughs> but CVS is still homeless. <laughs> I remember I had a, I had a, like a job interview at one point and a, my retainer, like, wasn't working well. And oh, I was no. like, just fucking terrified. I'm going to show up at a job interview and, like, the thing's going to not work and I'm going to have to, like, Hi, I'm, I'm Gabe and I don't have a tooth. Here's, you know, hire me. Best buy or whatever. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. The first fine. thing you say out of the window, I'm Gabe and my tooth does not work. So yeah. would you eat with it in? Yes. Uh, most foods. I couldn't eat like uh, apples, apples yeah. anything like that. Could you that. ask for it? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys have braces? Yeah. No. Nah. You couldn't eat the weirdest, bro. Some shit would just wreck braces. Mm-hmm. Apple, RIP. Yeah. Pop right off. You never have braces? Uh-uh. Let me see your smile. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you ever have you ever have someone ask you to smile? It's fucking weird as fuck. It is smile and command, dude. Yo, smile. <laughs> it's so weird. Um It is fuck. weird. Smile. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just weird. Yeah. I'd rather show me my dick. Show me my dick. You know. Show me my dick. <laughs> that sounds like how a rich person talks to Show me my dick, please. Show me go my me, dick. Go to my photograph catalog of my dick. Show me your dick. Let me see your magic dick. All right, guys, fuck. That's the episode? That's the episode. Still, we're, dude, that's it. Fucking that's over, man. Good. Yeah, I, I love it. it. Guys, stay tuned until next week, man. Fucking next Wednesday, we're going to have another goddamn heater. And again, guys, last week we had you guys go to iTunes, Apple Podcasts. Give us five stars, leave a review on there, and make sure to put your Instagram handle at the end, and you will be entered to win either free merch or we are giving out two free one-year Patreon subscriptions for you to browse a full year of content plus the additional 52 weeks before that. That's like... Fucking, I don't, I don't know. Four hundred and sixty-nine episodes, and it's the raunchy shit. Michael talks about beep, 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 and bleep. Gabe, we can add sound effects to that later. Yep, it's crazy, right? Anyway, so um, again, thank you. Go to iTunes, leave a review, put your Instagram handle so we know, and then we'll be announcing the winners next week. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for supporting, listening, and watching. Uh, till next week, stay hard. Can we say that?